Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 4th of May 2023. I must note that I said the 4th of March and then I started again. <laughs> so that could be significant for somebody. Something could have happened on the 4th of March or somebody's birthday is the 4th of March. The number 45 could also be significant. I just saw that Lake of Fairies card I have in my mind's eye. It has number 45 on it. Look, half the deck wants to come out. The Temple of Earth and Sarah. And 26 is sticking out. Sarah and Diana. Somebody's name starts with S and somebody's name starts with D. These women work together against Divine Feminine. They're trying to bury her. They could be, yeah, burying jars and stuff like that. Or doing graveyard magic. All that kind of, yeah, necromancy, root work. That's what they're doing. They're working with a man, possibly. 40 and 50 year. The dragon here. This is uh, Libra and Aries energy for me. 39 in Kanyamba. Somebody could be 39 and turning 40. Or there's a 39-year-old and a 40-year-old doing something together. It could be a Pisces and a Libra. 18. ho -O 18 is here twice. Somebody could be born on the 18th or January. Or August. So Capricorn or Leo could be significant too. 18th of August. That's in Leo season again. Okay. 12th of August and the 8th of December could also be significant for somebody. Leo again and Sagittarius. 14. The Beast with Seven Heads. There's a group here. There's a whole group of witches basically. Four Inuit, the 14th of April, these witches tried to, um, they tried to hack somebody or maybe they really did hack somebody on the 14th of April because I've been getting this message repeatedly. Also, somebody's birthday could be the 14th of April and also it got 144, right? So the 144,000, she's coming after a chosen one, she, I said she and I was pointing at this one. I didn't mean to do that. They are going after a chosen one. But there could be a leader of this whole group who is a she. She could be born in August possibly or she has an eight life path. Could be a Leo or a Virgo here. 20 Kanotila. The 20th of April could also be significant. And 13. The year 2013 could also be significant for somebody. Something could have happened between 2013 and 2018. Somebody could have been watching in secret and wishing ill upon another person since 2013. This person or these people could have been doing death spells. They were trying to destroy everything around the person. For everything to be barren. Like a barren land. That's what I'm getting. Nothing should uh, grow for somebody. There's... A particular woman possibly who's been doing this since 2013. Making sure somebody doesn't have money, doesn't have a home, doesn't have a partner, doesn't have children, all of that. Nine, Pamola. The 13th of September could also be significant. 24, King of Swords. 13, Sirius from the Sky. 13 came out twice. Both of these are death cards for me. So, yeah, somebody was doing death spells, either on somebody's actual life or just their livelihood or everything they touch should die, should wither away. And this is somebody in particular who was doing this. The Temple of Water. So everything you water isn't growing with the water here. There could be a water sign here and an air sign. It could be a female water sign and a male air sign who are doing this. And like I said, it could also be a Leo or a Virgo. Could be an air sign female with Earth in her chart too. Aries. Could be an Aries and a Pisces. 26th of February is in Pisces season. And this is my Aries card. An Aries and a Pisces females could have been doing this. And possibly an air sign male or two air sign males. These could be two different men. And then there are two women here. So, um... These could be family members of yours. These could be older people, possibly. They could be elders in your family. They could be former employers. Uh, 
the sea lion 33 these are people who had some kind of power and authority over you so like i said either employers former employers family members elders in your family 33 and 6 could both be significant they both break down to 6 45 i was seeing the lake of fairies in my mind's eye and now it's in the middle of the spread these people were summoning demons and fairies and all kinds of crap and sending them towards another person hellhounds and fairies possibly and the water spirits the sun 27 and king tarbus so there could be an air sign and a fire sign males who are doing this too 18 stone fist 2018 so like i said between 2013 and 2018 somebody's been doing this relentlessly or somebody started in 2013 another person started in 2018 the youngest son 35 this could be somebody in their 30s 43 Zana the fairy and 38 the empress of the fairy so this is either a man going after two women attacking two women or this man and these two women are doing something together because again i had the two women coming up here and it looks like this one is advising this one on what to do. That's what it looks like to me. This one isn't possibly doing much herself, not physically. Maybe this person has mobility issues or she just doesn't want to get her own hands dirty. So she could be advising another woman on what to do. Somebody who's closer to you, right? Somebody who's watching you, somebody who reaches out to you, who talks to you. This one may be pretending like they're not um, involved at all. So there's definitely an older woman who's giving advice to this woman to do something against you. That's how I'm seeing this. And there are also men doing this too. Two or three men. Ten. Ten men. Stone fist. This could be a father figure because stone fist is like king of pentacles, ten of pentacles for me. So it's a family member. It's either an ex-husband, even a current husband. Could be a father. Could be a business owner. Like I said, it could be a former boss for somebody. The naughty bridge, 32. These people could be far away from you or they could be traveling a lot. Or you traveled away from these people. You moved away from them, but they're still causing spiritual warfare from a distance. These people could also be gossiping a lot with the Lake of Fairies. They could be um, making you look bad to your friends, family members, other family members, if these are family members, potential employers, etc. Yes, could be an Aries specifically who does this. Could be an Aries male possibly. The number 6 and the number 33 could be significant. We had 6 and 33 here too. That's so annoying. <laughs> to the Hodag revenge. So there's a man. Could be a Libra and an Aries and a Taurus. Could be three different men. Because this is definitely Aries for me, Taurus and Libra. But it could just be a fire sign, an earth sign, and an air sign. These men could have some kind of position of power and authority. So either they're business owners or they're a part of the police, the military, the government, justice system. Like I said, these could be co-workers, former co-workers, etc., or employers who are still obsessed with messing up your whole life instead of focusing on their business and other things look the crack and 23 there could be somebody born on the 23rd there could be a cusper I've been picking up on a lot of people who are born on the cusp of two signs and a lot of these people's these people's <laughs> these people are the enemy 28 Garuda specifically somebody born on the 23rd and the 28th also something could have happened between the 23rd and the 28th of a month possibly april something could have happened in april or something will happen in may between the 23rd and the 28th right so this is an ending though so the kraken is my mob card so somebody has ties to the mob somebody acts as if they're a mobster somebody's very controlling could be this business owner he likes to control people he likes people to do his bidding 
and he doesn't want people to see him coming, right? Because the green guy here, he fits in with the background. It looks like he's a rock. So he's just sitting like this, waiting for the birds to sit, to, to place themselves on his hands, and then maybe he's gonna crush them. So, yeah. This is somebody who likes, and of course, this Kraken also, he has the same color as the background. This person likes to blend in, they like to hide. This person likes to control people from the shadows. He's the shadow person here. The shadow people are coming. This person, like I said, they could be secret services of some sort, or they could be in a secret society. Besides their um, main business, whatever they showcase to the world, they are doing something also in the background, something extra. Right, so they have some kind of backing. This person has some kind of backing, or uh, their real business could be something else than the front business, right? <sighs> okay, but something's gonna end or something already ended here with this person. Their influence, they're losing their influence. The Siberian Wolf 7 and Sarah 15. The 15th of July could be significant. That's cancer season. There could be a cancer involved. This is a cancer card, this Kraken here. The troll 31. These are people trolling somebody. They're good giving the evil eye and trolling somebody. So no matter what you move on to do, these people keep trying to follow you around, to watch you, to find, uh, they could be Googling you a lot to find out what you're doing, where you're moving, you know? What's happening on your social media, if you're starting a business, if you have a website, if you have anything, your bank accounts, your credit score, 27 simmer look 27 on top of 27 definitely there's somebody born on the 27th i don't know who this person is this could also talk about the 2nd of july or the 7th of february so cancer and aquarius energy could be significant as well as leo pisces libra taurus the lunatic 44 there are a couple of people born on the 27th who have bad intentions for another person the moon, 7-7, seven, seven, and also July. Somebody born in July has bad intentions, a cancer. The sun and the moon. So the moon came to clarify these two other cards. So there's a married couple here who's doing this for a lot of people. The whole spiritual community has been picking up on this married couple for months now i think it was over a year <sighs> the temple of earth in reverse and days is the healer 16 yeah the couple in the woods burying things and possibly people too quetzalcoatl 22 this could be happening in South America or South Africa with these two cards. Or in Africa in general. In the Southern Hemisphere. Could be Australia too because I've got the island here too. So some of these couples actually live in the Southern Hemisphere. I don't know how that's significant or why I'm picking up on that so strongly. But yeah, a lot of these people are from the South. The Southern Hemisphere. Maybe uh, the way, I don't know, the water goes the other way, right? down the drain <laughs> energy energy flows differently in the southern hemisphere than it does in the northern hemisphere so that might have something to do with whatever kind of manipulation these people are doing also i was picking up on a man and a woman who are from two different areas so the woman's from the south and the man's from the northern hemisphere or the other way around Right. Twenty-five, the gargoyle, Libra energy, and ten, the siren, Pisces and Sagittarius, and Libra. These people are drug addicts. Some of these people are drug addicts. They're also stealing energy from other people, so they can be powered up, right? And you feel like you're drained. The world 36, 
23 the magic wolf and 8 mishipeshu the 23rd of august has been coming up a lot lately so that could be significant for somebody that's in virgo season that's the first day of virgo season so somebody could be on the cusp of leo and virgo they could have a lot of earth in their chart because both of these are earth cards for me and we've got the world too so there's somebody with a lot of earth in their chart especially Capricorn and Taurus. They could have Virgo, Sun, and they could have Capricorn and Taurus in their chart. So either this is one of the people stealing your energy or this is you and somebody was stealing your energy. The Mace, 34. Yes, it's true. What I just said is true. But also, there's some kind of union happening here with the 34. You and your masculine could be coming into union. And that's why all these people are trying to attack you all at once. Also, there's a union between two people. They came into union just to mess with you. That's another thing. Or they are in union and they're messing with you. So what's the message about the win? The win. The win. I said the win. I wanted to say the union and I said the win. Maybe you're going to win something. You're going to win. Win. To win off. Yeah, you need to win these people off because they're sucking Yeah, your energy. So they need to be weaned off. The siren, 10. And the troll, these two. Could be a Capricorn and a Pisces too. There's a male and a female here who are stealing somebody's energy. The Empress B, 30 and 29, Al Mirage, 29 and 30. So we had what? We had 27 and 28. Now we've got 29, 30. Again, something happened towards the end of April or something will happen towards the end of May. Somebody could be getting married. Oh, this is interesting. You see how the sun was with the moon here. And I pulled him down to show you 28 and 27. And now he's closer to this one, to the Empress B with the ring. So there could be a man who was married to a woman and he wants to leave this woman for another woman. That's another thing I'm getting here. That's also possible for somebody. 26 Amit, that's my devil card. And the troll is also Capricorn energy. Yeah, and with the horns here, this could also be a Capricorn. So we're talking about maybe a male and a female Capricorn. Or we're talking about a male and a female karmics, right? Capricorn's the devil. So the karmic is the devil, basically. So either there's a karmic relationship here that's falling apart and somebody's moving on to their counterpart or there could be two counterparts who are together but there's some kind of demonic attachment or there are karmics who are trying to break them up so i'm getting multiple messages now but there's definitely a karmic couple that's going against the divine feminine Smash tree 41 and 42, the rainbow snake. So the person coming against you could be a 41-year-old turning 42 or a 41-year-old and a 42-year-old. I was talking about 39 and 40 before. Yeah, just at the beginning. We had 40 and 39. Now we have 41 and 42. So these are these couples probably where one is 40, the other one's 39 and one's 41, the other one's 42 smash tree and the snake here so this is like the snake in your garden of eden and we've got lots of snakes depicted here and also this plant growing out of him it curls up kind of like a snake too so somebody's um family member is a snake for somebody the tree of life yes exactly Somebody's own family member is a snake, a karmic. This could be a parent, a child. This could be a partner. 
And this person could be acting like a karmic too because they're dealing with the other one, right? So they're stuck in a, yes, it's true. So they're stuck in a karmic cycle. Prince Charming in the Temple of Fire and Leah. So this could be a union with the Temple of Fire. This is my Four of Wands card. And then we've got Prince Charming on one side and Leah on the other side. These are my counterparts, basically. So it could be that somebody's divine masculine is going to come towards them after they leave a karmic relationship. So this might happen before the end of this month. Or this could have already happened at the end of April for somebody. So what's the outcome here? What's going to be the outcome? What's going to be the outcome? The Empress of the Fairies, 38, you're gonna shine Divine Feminine no matter what the outcome is. The Spark, 14. I put 14 on, on top of two, so it's like 14th of February, Valentine's Day. It's gonna happen later, maybe. Nine, Charnabon the Wizard, the 14th of September, that's in Virgo season. There could definitely be a Virgo here because this is also Virgo, Gemini, or Aries for me. We've got Gemini here, Sagittarius. 10, the Siren, 29, the Moon, so Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Gemini could be significant. There is somebody here though, this Moon is this woman from here, could definitely be a water sign or it's a mother figure. It's a married woman, somebody's wife or lover. With the moon here, I'm thinking more like high priestess energy. The siren and the moon makes me think of the high priestess. The high priestess is sometimes known as the other woman. This could actually be a psychic. Somebody is abusing divination to watch another person to do some kind of manipulation against another person whether they're water sign or not, but this person could definitely have a lot of water in their chart, especially Scorpio with the 29th of October and Cancer with the 7th of July here. But Pisces definitely too, because in the major arcana, the moon is Pisces. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, there could be a Cancer, a Scorpio and the Pisces. Could be free women or free witches, free psychics who are doing something together to keep a person away from their divine counterpart and it looks like there's a man here who's trying to defend himself and possibly his feminine against these women or somebody's becoming wise to what's happening here in the background with this group whether they're women or not and they're starting to uh, send this energy back with the spark here somebody could be feeling um, a lot of hot flashes, somebody could be angry, but this could also be somebody who's under spiritual attack and that's why they're feeling this way. Somebody could also be going through a spiritual awakening, right? Like a phoenix on fire, you're changing, something's changing. There could be a man who's changing, he's changing his spiritual beliefs, he's changing his mind about something and he's trying to defend himself spiritually against these women or these people. Days is the healer, 16. This could be, again, it could be a Virgo again or a Scorpio. So I was getting Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Libra and Gemini for the man. 26, Diana the fairy. So again, I was talking about fairies and water spirits before, right? And hellhounds. 22, Tudor. 26 and 22 come up a lot. This could definitely be somebody's birthday, the 26th or the 22nd or February or June. 22 again, look, 22, 22. So there are males and females a part of this coven. Or there's a coven of women that's controlled by a bigger coven of men. So witches in the spiritual community here on YouTube or online in general, uh, dictated to from um, a bunch of men who are Freemasons possibly or some other secret society. But again, you shine, divine feminine, you're gonna shine anyway. 25th, the castle in the north, and you're gonna ascend with the north, that's what I'm getting, you're going to ascend. 
and even um, even in life you might move forward in life you might move your home you might um, get a new job or if you have a business it's gonna start being fruitful I've got only three cards left I don't know why I'm still shuffling but um, yeah the lunatic 44 somebody's gonna be very mad because you're gonna be doing very well you might even get married so either you're getting a job or you're starting a business or your business is taking off or you yeah you're moving away bang with a bang you're moving away with a bang <laughs> so people don't bang the doors the neighbors don't bang the doors and make a fuss when you're working there you go so there's an ending happening here somebody's moving forward another person's being left in the cold and it's over there's a cycle that's ending here possibly with a family member or an ex right so um good news for divine feminine it looks like um, the clouds are starting to clear because i've been getting so many dark messages but like i said something on this planet an energy that was taking over this planet has been removed from the planet something's gone something's left and now better days may come <laughs> 